The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was persecuted in Mecca. By the disbelievers of Mecca, he was persecuted. And know your history. He was tortured. He was ridiculed. His character was assassinated. He was labeled, blamed, cursed. Even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, I have been persecuted. I have been persecuted like none other. I have been tortured like none other. And I have been given difficulties like none other. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu came to these Bedouin, disbelievers of Badi Quraysh in the area of Mecca, to take them out of the darkness of disbelief and into the light of Islam, from the darkness of slavery to the freedom of being the worshipper of Allah. And how did these individuals react? What did they do? They ridiculed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood. He said, Qulu la ilaha illallah tuflihun. Say la ilaha illallah and you will be successful. But they, what did they do? They cursed him. His own uncle, Abu Lahab would say, don't listen to this man. And he would follow him and he would throw things at him. He would ridicule him in public. One day the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was walking and one of the Quraysh members came with dirt on him. Dirt, a handful of dirt. And he went up to the Prophet sallallahu and threw it all, all over him. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam returned to his home and Zainab radiyallahu anha saw this and she rushed to him crying. And she started to wipe off the dust of our beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do? And what did he say? He said, Ya bint, Ya oh my daughter, don't cry. Allah will look after your father. Let's not forget. Let's not forget the journey of Ta'if. Where he went to call the people to Islam. Where he went to bring them La ilaha illallah. Where he came to teach them about the keys of Jannah. To teach them about Islam, to teach them about the Quran, to tell them who is Allah, what do we believe? They threw stones and they threw stones and they threw stones from every direction, dear brothers and sisters, such that his sandals were stuck to his feet because of the blood. This is what they did to Rahmatul Alameen. And then Jibreel salam descended and said, Allah has seen what has happened. The angel in charge of the mountains is on standby. You give the word and we will crush this tribe together. The two mountains will crush Taif. Give us the signal and we will crush these people that have done this to you. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what did he say? Rahmatul alameen. What did he say? He said, these are people that do not worship Allah now. But perhaps, perhaps somebody from their progeny Somebody from their future generations will accept Islam and they will say La ilaha illallah and their brothers and sisters. If you study your history, you will know that this is the tribe of Bani Thaqif. And Bani Thaqif is the tribe of Muhammad bin Qasim al Thaqafi. And Muhammad bin Qasim al Thaqafi is who? He is the one where most of you sitting here today have become Muslim because he is the one who took Islam into Punjab and Sindh and Multan and Iran and all of these areas and Baluchistan, Sistan, all of this area he took it. It was him because of the Rahmah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rahmatul Alameen.